hello friends welcome back to node.js tutorial so in this video we are going to discuss about how to connect mysql database with node.js i already published more than 20 tutorial with node.js and we covered most of the topics and now we need to connect with database so in this video we will going to discuss about how to connect with mysql and after mysql database connection and mysql rated operations we will connect in node.js with mongodb so in this series we will going to learn about uh, basic things and then uh, database connection and after that we will learn about the node.js framework like express right so please see this series from the beginning and the full playlist link are provided in the description section so now to connect with mysql we need to install the mysql package i already discussed about how to install any package so this is our package.json and we already discussed about the node daemon and uppercase package and now we need to install the mysql package so simply just open the browser and type npm mysql so basically npm js is the package library and here we can get all the packages and for installation we have npm i mysql you can write npm install mysql also no problem on that and simply just write here npm i mysql i for installation right so just enter this so it will install mysql package into your application so add it 11 package right so if you just go if you just do code and package.json you can see a mysql package is installed right now how we can use this so just go to the browser again and here you can see the installation step and then all the things so just go down so just go little down and uh, for installation so to use this package simply just require mysql so let's copy whole things and i will discuss everything later so these things and here i import the mysql library and to create a connection we need to use the mysql create connection method right and we have used the host name username password and database right so now we have no database so we can create database dynamically so just remove these things so without database we can run the create connection method so simply just host name is localhost and user is root and here is my database password a b c d one two three and this is my password and to create a database simply we can use this connection variable and we can do all those things right so simply just use so i am taking this connection name little bit smaller so that we can use right so i am simply writing con and we can use the con every case so that there will have uh, no chances of spelling mistake so con dot connect so i am going to connect with my database and uh, it's actually using the callback function so simply here just pass the error so if anything error it can handle and inside this we check if any error then we will throw error otherwise we will do our operation right so simply write a throw error so throw error okay so if anything error it will throw the error and if not then it's successfully connected right and you can write here console log and write successfully connected successfully connected so till now we don't have any database so just go into the chrome again and let's open localhost php my admin so just enter the password and i just want to create a database so why not we can create database within this code so simply we can run this code in this way right so to run any query simply use the mysql object so this is the mysql and this is the con and this is a create connection object so simply write con dot query so this is another method and using this method we can write anything and we know how to create database so simply write a mysql query so create database and my database is node project right 
so this is my database name so just copy this okay and in this query method we have a callback on second parameter so simply just write error and the result right so if anything result get we will we can print or we can uh, access or if anything error we can handle this error so simply just check here in the same way if anything error just throw the error otherwise we can write here uh, database created so just copy from the previous and here write database created okay so let's remove these things okay now just run this index.js and let's see this database is created or not so simply just go here and write node index.js successfully connected this is the first statement that means this uh, thing that means these things are run and then database created that means database also created so let's check so just refresh once and let's search so we are getting a new database is created that is note project right so now we need to create a table inside this so how can I create this simply if I just go here and create any table name and if I write here we can create a table in this way but why not we can create a table using code so mysql support all the ddl or dml query everything can run mysql so simply just create a database so just go here and in the space of query we can run different things so in the place of the query simply i am taking this query into another variable let's use uh, var equal to sql and here we will write the query and we'll pass into the query function right so simply just write here in this way you can write and now here we can write the create table syntax so simply just write create table and suppose I'm going to create a table uh, students right so this will be my table name and simply add some columns so right here ID and I just want to add this as uh, begin so begin and unsigned is a G N E D right and this actually will be the not null and then adds uh, suppose a name so right here name and name is simply Becker 255 and also make sure it will be the not null so simply add some attributes that is not null and same like email also it will be Becker 255 so actually this is the SQL query right so in the query section you can write any things so just add this not null and also add some phone also i am adding it as a bear 255 and not null okay so just add the 255 here right and the thing is here we are creating table so simply write table created and one thing is important when we just creating database we have not write in database name so here i just going to create a table so simply write database uh, database and then specify the database name so my database name is note project so simply write note project okay and make it inside invited comma right so i think all will create so just go into the terminal and simply write note index js and successfully connected table created so if we just go into here and let's see a table is created and just go to the structure and we can see all the things right so every table should have some primary key so we can make it primary key from here or we can uh, create a primary key by our sql query also so i already forget actually uh, to create a primary key when we create the table so let's we can uh, add the alter table query also using node.js 
so you can understand how node.js is powerful and how it can modify the database also so simply just go here and instead of this query here write the alter table syntax right so just remove and write alter table and the table name so the table name is students so simply write here students s-t-u-d-n-t-s and i want to alter the primary key so i just want to add this primary key uh, as id right so simply write add primary key this is the attribute at primary key so this is basically the concept of, of mysql query and simply pass the column name so here the column name is id so just run this again and let's stop and run this so successfully connected and table created actually this should be table altered no problem this is simple message and now just go and check so check the uh, things this is a structure so we can see this is added as a primary key right so in this way we can write the ddl query that is the data definition language query means we can modify the database we can modify the tables so next day we are going to discuss about how to insert some data how to update some data or how to delete some data from the database tables right so hope you like this video and still if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section and thanks for watching this video have a good day bye